Welcome back to Phoenix Point. Uh, today is an important day, actually yesterday was, because um, Snapshot Games announced that official mod support was going to be on the Steam version. Um, I don't know how it's going to work for the Epic Games version, that's the version I have, but it's uh, kind of a cool thing. If any like total conversion mods or anything come out that look interesting, I'll probably do another playthrough. But other than that, it sounds like support for Phoenix Point is going to be done. Snapshot's working on, uh, going on to the next thing, whatever it is. Um, but it's been a hell of a run. I love this game, and I'm glad I got to play it, and I got a shitload of time out of it. But for this campaign, <laughs> something interesting happened to me. Um... It's been a while since I played, so I had to kind of look around and see where I was, what I was doing. But it finally came back to me. A bunch of defense missions popped up, and I had just uh, purchased, recruited, this um, new uh, priest. And I didn't have time to stop by Phoenix Point to get another uh, operative, so I did the other defense mission. But on this one, I'm going to have to do something that I don't think I've ever had to do before. But my heavy here, Tom, uh, doesn't have enough stamina. So he's going to go into this with only three action points. And everyone else is... Um, I mean, they'll be, they'll be good. They're a little low, but they're doing fine. But now I need to figure out... Oh sweet, I did finally get you Phlegathon armor. Uh, grenades. And we'll keep the pistol at the ready. Okay, I was able to build another watcher turret, so I do have two of these even though I can't throw them. So that's good. This is probably one of the earliest technicians I ever got. Tom. Um, grenades, missiles. Do I need the hell cannon? <clears throat> it can be useful because it, um. Oh, wait, you know what? You can wear these. Looks a little weird, but, <laughs> but it works. It's better armor than what you were wearing. Um,. I mean, stunning people can be really useful. We're bringing extra missiles. Because he does have boom blast now. He can indeed use them. Let's give him another strength. And then Eileen. Let's bring you along an extra med pack. Um, I don't have extra ammo for this, but it does more damage and it's more accurate. And this is going to be a tough mission, so we better do it. Oh wait, does anyone else have healer? Maybe, oh yeah, you do. So maybe you can bring the extra med packs. Oh, you can still carry one. All right, um, let's do this. Yeah, some of my soldiers are tired or exhausted. I'm gonna have to deal with it though. I need these resources pretty bad. It's nice to have frenzy though. You know, it's funny, I'm not even gonna use use my healer what's our plan heading out receiving loud and clear <laughs> oh 
Ah, shit. I fucked that up. Okay, maybe you will heal Shake somebody this turn. Let's fix you right up, buddy. Let's take a look through this window. Yeah, just more guys. Alright, so you can get out of here. Say I'm surprised I haven't spotted anything yet. Although he is the armored head, it's, it's damn near blind. Ha! I knew it. <laughs> so I had to step in one step out of the way, and we could get him out. All right, uh... Oh, we do have good access to stairs right here. I mean, you can't quite get there. Who can you, Elaine? He was actually close enough to get frenzied as well. I'll be right. Got these guys with the neuralizers. Could be an issue. <clears throat> Oh, I thought you were a sniper for some reason. Okay, well, we're not going to take that shot. I'm on the move. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why he couldn't run around him oh he he wasn't uh he wasn't active yet that's why really surprised i haven't seen anything else yet Let's do this. I think these fences count as walls. Okay, that sounded like something big. Is there a fucking skylight here? Sounds like someone just got damn near paralyzed.
There is indeed a Skyla on this map. Okay, well, what the hell? Maybe I should let the sniper handle them. Ready to engage. I was actually kind of hoping that you would have vision on her. have to use you to take him out after all or her thank you for not missing She's far away. Oh, I forgot to give you literally anything extra. Need a good place to put down your turrets. And I've never seen that icon before. Uh, all right, well, that looks like that's about all I can do. Probably the paralyzed guy, so I'm not too worried. Of oh, maybe not. Oh no, that was an Overwatch, huh? Yeah. So she's probably going to come that way. Um, I will make sure it has some vision this way as well. Bleed and virus, I think, are going to be very important to me. Uh, after I shred some of that armor.
Okay. Shot. Wait, what did I hit that only took 10 armor off? Must have been the spawning abdomen. <laughs> God damn it. Well, that's fine. Because <clears throat> the most important thing is, is that I have a nice big target with no armor. Okay, I'm going to need you to hit with more bullets than that. Ah, there we go. Fine, right where you're at. Let's see, you're not going to panic. Don't think the mind fragger is going to get close enough. Saved enough civilians. All right. Oh, did it recover anyway? I'm on the move. I mean, was it just like a Skyla and a couple Tritons? I actually did pretty good there. I'm proud of him. You don't have a shot. What's our plan? It sucks because I don't need four shots or four action points because I only have three. But if I use Boom Blast, I can. S only use this once and this once, but if I don't use it, I can only use this once. Bummer. Oh, 
Need to get some shred on the front too. can't panic this turn even though maybe that's why she recovered she knew it was coming so even though she's gonna run out of will points she has the recovered status what I need is the frenzied status I need a turret up there. I'm still going for it with the recoveries. As long as I can keep her recovery locked. Oh, Jesus Christ. Seriously, dude? What a Starting to chat my ass. Let's recover. <clears throat> well, this is going to take, take forever. <laughs> Finger on the trigger. Point for that. Reload again. Is 
It's actually looking like this is gonna work out. I have the priest to thank for that. Um, okay, that's everything. one. Oh, she panicked anyway, that's weird. Oh, I wasn't expecting that to work out. Um, I think maybe this one had better view. Terror to shreds, guys. It is really a good thing. I got these advanced classes when I did. Target in sight. I'm on the move. Did you not? Oh, you just didn't have enough strength to bash it. Wow. I still can't claim you even though you're... Uh, you're paralyzed. I honestly didn't think I was going to be able to save this civilian. Time to do some real damage. Escaping, lady. Alright, I think we can take her out this turn. Eileen, let's get you the kill. Oh, you're not gonna have the kill. Unless I do some more damage. 
but pretty much everyone else will kill you. <laughs> Sorry, Eileen. to identify their origin. That's just wonderful. Okie dokie. Well, uh, what do we have? Oh shit, there's a patch so my my UI mod isn't working for me. They're only level one anyway. Alright, you guys need some R and R. Forgot I even had you over here. I don't know if I should be doing this with a team of just six people. I do have double priests though. Hmm. A rogue Sinadrian mercenary has approached us with an interesting offer. He claimed to have a recording of a secret communication between Subject 24 and leaders of the Malthusian faction. He is willing to sell us to a price for a price. Uh, we need all the resources we can get. Disappointed by our response, the mercenary ended all communication saying he could find a better deal elsewhere. Any subsequent attempts to reestablish contact or find the person have ended in failure. That is fine, buddy. That is fine. The Manticore 1 has landed at an abandoned military base. This site is not on old maps and databases. Looks like it was used to train and develop some sort of special operations unit dedicated to fighting the invaders. There's a lot of equipment here we can use. Fantastic. Strange to wonder about this place. They could have been us or we could have been them. Indeed. Level three. Level three Berserker, 1075. Oh, I wish I had that mod installed. Let's look at my other personnel. So, I have two level fours. Then at Phoenix Point, I have Katarina. The thing I look for, what's most important, is either a Berserker with Strongman or an assault with strong man because then you can cross class them and be set so and I have a heavy I have what three priests right now You have close quarters specialists. That is also good to have on an assault. Because uh, once you can get the Harrower. Or, well, the ancient weapons too. I forgot I have the DLC, DLC enabled on this one. And then other than that, I think priests are probably the most important class. Because if you can cross-class them with a technician, it makes like the ultimate support unit. They don't have great like extra perks though. I mean, biochemist is good early on, but the number of SP that it takes 
I don't know that it's worth it. I mean, something like that's better on uh, something that fires a lot of bullets, like a shotgun or a deceptor. Bobby has strong, man, so he's a good, like, backup heavy. Especially good with boom blast. Yeah, so I'm not seeing a lot of uh, stars here, so... I think I only have the one so far, so it might be worth it. Oh, a level four. 1728. Oh man, that shit gets expensive. One extra level costs that much. Wow. I need to start manufacturing some more armor to would like to replace that acolyte body armor. I need tons of phlegathon. Although I am going to have mutations at some point. What do I have being built? Satellite uplink, fruits and skylar. Okay. So I haven't started building the mutation lab yet, unfortunately. I do have enough power. It's only 75. I mean, I don't have a lot of tech right now, but that's okay. We can trade for it. Shotgun, actually, give you one of these. Nope, because we don't have ammo for it. I don't want to spend it. Okay, I'll arm these guys and I'll be right back. Alright, so I have the other team headed over to get me some more tech. Uh, these guys, just gonna go for some R&R. &R. Um, we're waiting for the behemoth to make landfall, so we might want to start making our way down there. Uh, we should probably take this thing out. Because that'll do a lot of disruption points. Um... I'm banking on you not sucking, buddy. Alright, uh, Phoenix Point. Alright, let's see what we got. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Armored torso. Ah, uh, he's got to... Nope, you're trash. Shit. I mean, I like the shadow legs, but... Ah, uh, I don't like the armored torso. Because it means I can't get an armored head, which means that you can be dazed after adrenaline rush. And you don't have anything, like, special down here. Well, that's a bummer. I need to enable that mod. Yeah. 
All right, so let's um. Have a lane. I sent them to Phoenix Point because I didn't think there were that many people there. I wanted to replace a person, but I should have sent you elsewhere uh, over to the training base, which is all the way over here. You know what, no. Let these people get the R&R &R first. And I'll use this to drop people at the training base. Alright, well we can't afford you now. for trading you head up to the training base you explore you continue to get me the tech that I need oh yeah secure the chaos buggy Okay, so what do we have? 43 minutes. Um, actually, I think I'll do that in another video. I think I'm going to end this one here. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.